everyone, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. If you've been here before, uh, welcome back. Sorry, my shirt's just sliding. There we go. Um, so, uh, yeah, so welcome back. Um, I do videos about books and autism here on this channel, so if that sounds like my cat is meowing at me. See him there. He's a very demanding little kitty, especially when he wants food. Okay, Mr. Dodger. Yes, I named him the Artful Dodger um, from Oliver Twist. That's one of my favorite Dickens stories. So, And my other cat's name is Oliver from Oliver Twist as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I do videos about books and autism here on this channel, so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, um, sorry, my bangs keep getting in my face, um, feel free to like this video and subscribe, and um, that way you will be notified whenever I upload a new video or post new content. Also, I apologize for my hair being such a mess. Um, I desperately need a haircut, so... But uh, yeah, so today I it is raining and I'm vlogging, as you can probably tell with me walking around. Um, it's raining. I'm going to try to, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's quite dreary out and it's quite rainy and wet and which is great. My mom and I just recently um, planted a herb and vegetable garden, so we did that together, and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that with her, so um, hopefully those things will grow. Um, they're growing up quite well so far, so I'm hoping that that kind of continues. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things, but also... Um, it's going to be a reading vlog. I am going to continue reading The Beholder by Anna Bright. Um, today is, because it's rainy, it's the perfect day for me to curl up in the living room with my weighted blanket and a hot chocolate later this afternoon and just read my books. So that's what I'm going to do and I will film some of that for you guys and uh, hopefully you guys will... Uh, will uh, enjoy and, and appreciate that. So one thing that I wanted to just sort of talk to you guys about, um, actually I'm just gonna sit down here so that it's easier for me to like keep walking around and walking around, walking around, there we go. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about um, is over the next little bit, um, my videos are going to be a little bit different. So over the next probably three, maybe four videos, the description, I know you guys are used to seeing the, hey guys and gals, thank you so much for watching, blah, blah, blah. And then it's got all of my social media linked down below and places where you can follow me and, and get in touch with me if you want. Um, so uh, instead of that, I'm going to be changing that description um, to a description that I have made. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. So kind of with the current state of things and sort of current events that are going on in the world, um, I wanted to give you all a reminder to just be kind. Um, there's a lot of arguing going on. There's a lot of hurt happening in the world right now. There's a lot of, um, like, people on both sides who are not being understanding. There's a lot of um, fear happening in the world right now. There's a lot of suffering going on. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of underscore that everyone in the world right now is having challenges um whether those challenges are you know more um 
like whether there's more attention being paid to those challenges or not right now in terms of news and that. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that like everybody in the world right now is having challenges and things that they have to deal with. And so I just, I just kind of wanted to underscore, be kind to people, um, whether they agree with your viewpoint or not, whether they support your view or not. Uh, we all learned about peer pressure in school, um, it's not a good thing. I don't believe in peer pressure. I don't, that's why I don't generally talk about stuff like this on this channel. Um, I don't believe in pressuring people one way or the other to, you know, I believe in sharing my viewpoint, but if you want to disagree with me, feel free to disagree with me. I just want to underscore the notion of being kind to each other. Um, you know, regardless of what we are all going through or what is happening in the world or what, you know, viewpoints or arguments are happening, I just want to underscore to be kind and respectful. Um, if someone disagrees with you, you know what, that's okay. People don't always have to agree. Um, that's one of the things that makes the BookTube community so wonderful is the fact that we all have different views and we all come to this community with different viewpoints um you know and just like you know if i don't it, maybe some books that i really like you really didn't like and some books are found problematic and some books that you really liked i found very problematic and i don't like you know so and some books we will agree on and you know what that's all okay you know, it's all okay. It's okay to have your own views. It's okay to state your own views. It's okay to disagree as long as it's done respectfully um, and kindly. And that's what I want to underscore here is be kind. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Um, everyone is in kind of a different mental state than they were a few months ago. Things have changed astronomically in all our lives, and I just really want to underscore this whole idea of being kind to each other because I feel like that's something that's not happening recently. I've noticed a lot of people arguing and very aggressively trying to, you know, push their viewpoints on other people. Um, and I'm not just referring to one issue here. I'm referring to a number of issues um, that are happening in the world right now, kind of all at the same time. And I've seen both sides on all of those are different arguments and all of the different sides of all of those different arguments. I've seen people um, trying to kind of push their viewpoint on others and it's just not right. Um, so just be kind, be understanding, and try to not, you know, I know that it's great to have people support your views, but try to not push that on people if they disagree with you. Try to, you know, practice some radical acceptance. Try to practice just being understanding and accepting it for what it is, and try to practice not being judgmental and kind of just staying in your lane. Um, and I think everything will, everything will be fine. Um, everything will work itself out. Um, and I don't mean to sound dismissive when I say that. I just mean that it's important above all else to be kind and understanding to one another. Because at the heart of it, when we come from a place of kindness and compassion and understanding and acceptance of one another, um, things are better. People treat each other better. People are happier um, with themselves and with each other. So I just kind of wanted to give that little spiel and underscore that. I'll have a description kind of underscoring those points in the, um, in the description box below. So please read that um, because it is a little bit different than what I've said here, but please read that. Um, 
it basically underscores the same points, though. You don't have to read it, but I would really appreciate it if you would. Um, so that being said, um, there is one sort of event that I would like to raise some awareness to and some support for, and that is um, Autistic Pride Day. Uh, that is coming up. That is on June 18th. So if you, so if you could, um, if you want to support autistic people, wear red on June 18th or wear something with the neurodiversity symbol on it. Um, June 18th is Autistic Pride Day. I'm also going to have in the description boxes of my next few videos um, underneath the Be Kind description, I'm going to have some links to um, some really good uh, information uh, if you want to know more. Um, but also I'm going to have um, a couple of links to a couple of really, really good organizations um, that you can not necessarily donate to, but that you can buy, um, you know, s products from. Um, that really do a lot of good for a lot of autistic people. And I will have one organization uh, that you can donate to as well. So please, please, please um, take, just take a look. Um, I don't, I'm not going to pressure you to donate. I'm not going to pressure you to agree with me. I'm not going to pressure you to do anything. I just want to let you guys know that those resources are there and available to you uh, should you wish to access them, okay? All right, so that being said, um, I guess we'll get on with the vlog. So today um, I'm going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, clear my throat. Today we, I am going to be reading um, The Beholder by Anna Bright. And I am going to be doing a few other things today. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night at all, so I'm probably not going to be doing a whole lot. But hopefully you guys find this vlog interesting enough to watch. And uh, I'm going to just kind of have my... I'm going to have some breakfast. And then I will... I'm going to... Um, possibly play on my switch a little bit I don't know but then I'm going to read some and I'm going to do a little bit of training with Willow and I'm going to yeah so I'm not going to do a whole lot today not a whole lot of stuff but um likely something will happen that will be a little bit unexpected I may end up going out to town or something but not likely so I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens okay all right, I will check in you guys with you guys when I have something to update on.
Hey guys, so um, <clears throat> so my mom and I decided to come out to town. We just went and had lunch at the park and we had Subway and we're just getting a small six inch sub for Matt. We're going to take it home for him. Um, he's out helping out a couple of our friends. So yeah, so it was a really good time. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, do I have it with me? I guess I don't. Um, on, uh, the Beholder. So, I am now on page, uh, 135. I am absolutely loving where the story is going. I cannot wait until I find out whether she's going to choose one of the suitors or if she's going to choose someone else entirely. I'm excited to find that out. I'm also excited to find out sort of, because I can tell there's a secret and I want to kind of find out what exactly is going on and um, how she sort of deals with this situation that she's been put in because this is very much like an impossible situation and I love I love impossible situation books. I love it when my characters are placed in a situation that seems just totally impossible and yet they are somehow managed to um, to get out of it or to just make it better for themselves or to you know give themselves somewhat of a happy ending out of an impossible situation. I absolutely love that. And uh, yeah, so my mom's just coming back and I will check in with you guys when I get home in a bit. Hi guys. So my mom and I just got back from town. Um, Matt is home. We're going to be having an early supper tonight since my stepdad has a meeting on Zoom. And um, yeah, we just got home. We filled up a... A kitty swimming pool that we have for the puppies to help keep them cool in this weather it is boiling hot it is like it is over 30 degrees outside here so it's boiling we have the air conditioning on um, yeah so anyway um, yeah I just wanted to um, sort of give you guys another little update so I am just, oh my god, I'm just blistering hot, so I think I'm going to maybe play on my Switch a little bit, and then I am going to hopefully do some more reading tonight, so, um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a good day. My cat, Dodger, here, he's sleeping away. Yeah, it's definitely really hot. Um, I know the local beach near where we live, it's open, so I don't know if maybe we'll be able to go for a swim after supper, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I'm hoping we can. Um, either way. Oh, and good news. Um, I am going to be, uh, when I get my mid-month check, I am going to be ordering an Amazon order, which is going to include two uh, 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD cards for Matt and I's uh, Switch lights, as well as um, a uh, some uh, some doggy seat belts for the pups, um, seat belt clip restraints, so we can put them in the van without having to worry. That will be really good because then we'll be able to start taking them to the park. There's a local park near where we are and it's really nice and it's a great area for training. So we'll be able to do that. So that will be some of their first public access type stuff. Not real public access, but it'll be, it's a pet friendly park. So, but it'll be really good for them to go and train there. And... Then, but the exciting part of the exciting part is that it's going to also include a new tripod for me. It's a tripod 
it's a nice big tripod that sets up and it's um it's adjustable it's fully adjustable and it has a um a built-in uh selfie stick and the tripod is for my phone and since i already film on my phone and i'm used to filming on my phone and my phone takes pretty good quality videos um i'm going to keep doing that i know i know i got some sun but Anyway, I'm going to keep using my phone to film. I absolutely love filming on my phone. I think I'll probably do that, like, forevermore, honestly. Um, or at least until I have enough money to get myself a, a proper vlogging camera. Um, proper camera for filming. Um, but for now, filming on my phone and having the selfie stick slash tripod. I probably won't use the selfie stick very much. I'll probably use the tripod more, but... Yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. It's going to be great for filming my videos. And even when I do get my, eventually get a proper camera for filming, um, it'll be good too to have as a backup. Obviously, I'll have to get a tripod for my camera too, but it'll be really good to have as a, uh, as a backup. So that is perfect. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you. I think I'm going to, I'll, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to post a picture of this on my, um, on my Facebook page and on my Twitter page. And so you guys can check it out there. But my husband is making four Harry Potter bookmarks, one for each of the houses. Um, to show like some as a craft and like because he makes plastic canvas crafts as a little business so and they're custom so he's wanted to do some demo pieces so he could show people like what he does and gets more customers than that so anyway um, one of his most popular items is his bookmarks people love his bookmarks so he is making a set of four with for one of each of the Harry Potter houses. So if you would like to see those and see what they look like, I will be posting them, pictures of them on my Facebook page and on um, my Twitter as well. So you can check those out there. Okay. I'm going to go play on my Switch and read some more of my book, and I will update you guys in a little bit.
Hi guys. So I'm sorry for the awful lighting, but as you can probably tell out my window, it is nighttime. Um, I just wanted to do one sort of final quick update before I go to bed. Um, the puppies are already in bed sleeping, so um, I'm going to be uh, going to bed soon uh, myself. I just wanted to do one sort of final update. So, um, I got to page 195 today. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm still loving the book. I can't wait to see, you know, what happens. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't sleep very good last night. Um. I'm excited to see where it happens and where it's going. It is pouring rain outside right now um, here, so it was it was a good day. It was hot and wet and rainy and muggy, but it was a good day. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go and brush my teeth and maybe just sort of check out Pinterest a little bit and just relax for a bit and then I'm gonna head to bed um, I don't think I'm gonna read anymore tonight just because I am very tired um, but yeah um, again please just look down in the description like I said the description will be uh, this change description for the next few videos and I will um, after, you know, maybe three or four no, more videos, I will uh, switch the description back to what it was originally. Um, yeah, so I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are staying safe um, and being kind to one another and understanding of one another. And um, if you're getting rain where you are, I hope you enjoy the rain. Um, as far as The Beholder by Anna Bright, um, that's the book that I'm reading right now. If you guys have read it, any of you have read it, uh, please just let me know down in the comments whether you liked it or not. Um, don't tell me why, like don't tell, don't spoil it, but just let me know just sort of in general whether you liked it or not. And also, um, Please let me know. I want to start asking a question at the end of each of my videos of you guys. Today I want to know what is your favorite animal? That's what I want to know. I want to know what's your favorite animal um, and why. I mean, you don't have to have a reason. Um, some people don't have a reason. They just like the animal just because they like them. Um, but some people there's a story behind it so if there is a story i would love to hear it um yeah what's your favorite animal my absolute favorite animal of all time would have to be hmm. See, it's hard for me to make a choice because I love so many animals so much. But honestly, my favorite animal of all time, really, would have to be... It would have to be a dolphin. I love dolphins. Um, I love water. I love, it's my favorite element, which is kind of funny because I am an air sign. Um, I'm a Libra, but I love dolphins. I think they are the most beautiful, sleek creatures in the world. I think they are incredible and gorgeous 
and just so intelligent. Um, that's not to say that I don't love other animals. Of course I do. I have, you know, definitely have a, a top 10. I'm not going to go through them all right now, but, um, so don't get me wrong. There are some very close seconds and thirds and, you know, but if I had to just pick one animal as my favorite animal of all time, the dolphin would have to be it. Yeah, so let me know uh, what's your favorite animal, and I will see you guys next time. I'm going to go to bed, and yeah, I will see you all next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and found it relaxing, and uh, alright guys, bye!